What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz here. Hope everybody's having a good one. Hope you enjoyed my hype video from the prior day. Um, I think it was a banger. Uh, really enjoyed putting that together. Uh, took me zero takes. Was able to knock that thing down up and straight one shot. You know what time it is. But now it is time to jump into the first ever preview of a weekly auction from PWCC Marketplace. And it is going to be nothing shy of amazing. I can tell you. Um, I'm trying to uh, update this screen and I'm failing miserably just trying to move that over and move this over and just, just utter great class here. So this is what you have to expect from me um, during these live weeklies that I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to put my, my vision up here and... Let's move it down here now. This is where we're at. We're now down in the bottom left of the screen. So, we're back. I'm here. Hello. My name is Josh. This is PWCC, if you don't know what it is. And they have this new thing called a weekly auction. Um, they've always done monthly, as I said in my amazing hype video. Weekly is going to be a brand new look at the way... We buy and sell trading cards. Um, Heritage Auctions does it weekly. eBay does it daily. 99% of the stuff in there is fixed price and overpriced. Um, so this will give us a clear shot at establishing some type of market. Um, instead of doing it once a month. Once a month was not amazing. This will be everything I think everyone wants it to be um, and just looking right in here so the first thing that catches my eye is we have 3620 items this is sports cards Pokemon cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards I'm assuming haven't gone through this at all um, so I will filter this and kind of just focus in on Pokemon for this because I primarily do Pokemon um, with my channel, also do some Yu-Gi-Oh, some video games, pretty much collect everything, have some sports cards. But if you're new to this channel, smash the like button, hit the sub button, stay around a little while. Um, I plan on doing live, uh, live, uh, live streams every time these auctions end. These, these. Um, so really looking forward to that, getting into a more of a community with some people with doing live streams. This thing looks like I got hit by a steamroller, but, uh, really looking forward to, uh, communicating with you guys during these live streams. It'll be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and search Pokemon and we're going to jump right into this. Let's see how many Pokemon cards exist in this weekly. And right off the bat, we're looking at 1200 listings. That is a thing of beauty. Because with the monthlies, we were dealing with 6,000 plus cards every single time. And that, if you did the math, trigged it out, you're talking to look at every single Pokemon card. You're spending 10 seconds. A, like, it added up to over 8 hours of time. If you did 10 seconds a card and that didn't even allow you time to look at the front and back. That's pretty much to click on the card and look at the front. It would would have took an insane amount of time to review every single card. So reducing it to 1,200 will reduce it to an hour and a half, two hours to look at every single card. So now I will be able to see, okay, what's actually being auctioned. I could scroll through this in a decent amount of time just to get a general snapshot of what I want to see. Um, and right off, they got it in order. Um, looks like they have top sun maybe by year they're doing it um this says 95 they came out in 97 but these came out in 96 you got original base set so we got a pretty clean this is a nine um so pretty high value card here this is 
it has the rarity symbol, so it's not the no rarity symbol. So this one still, it's going to be, you're talking fifteen hundred ish dollar card. Um, so there is some lower value, but there is multiples, which I like seeing different grades. So that'll give you a vast, much better look at the market in general. You got another nine here, Blastoise, similar grade to their um, more base set rarity symbols. Um, high grades though, those are nines. There's a 10, first, the first 10, first PSA 10 I've seen on a PWCC weekly auction is of course no other than the Machamp. I would expect nothing less. It's always got to be the Machamp. Zapdos, those you don't know, is my favorite card. We have a bunch more. So here's some more PSA 10s, base set. The original Pokemon base set, I should say. And some of these could have been from starter decks. So the starter deck ones won't have the symbol on the bottom. Fun fact. Um, some decent grades, though. PSA 10s, random 5. I'm um, getting to some more card ass. Bandai. PSA 10. Mew. That's going to be a, one of the top selling cards I've seen so far. Um, so, man, this is crazy. Just seeing... Just, it's awesome already seeing the variety that's popping off in this first week. And we're only in Japanese. We're not even to the English cards yet. So that's kind of why I'm moving a little quick. I don't collect a lot of Japanese, just kind of hitting some highlights, but some decent grades. CDC 9s are not to be left in the dark. Especially a 9.5. Like, it's a dark vile plume, but it's a 9.5. These 9.5s are not very achievable at CDC. It seems Japanese, 9 out of 10 Japanese cards, 9 out of 10 Pokemon cards that have 9.5s are Japanese. Um, English cards in a 9.5 are extremely rare. Cherish it. Cherish it. You should never let that thing just sit there in the drawer by itself. You need to cherish those 9.5s from CGC. So we get a Misty, uh, Misty's Tears. Sabrina's Gengar, those of you who don't know, this also has a, uh, a band art because it has gravestones in the backyard. One CD promo shocked. There's a lot of these that exist. <laughs> There's only one, and it's a nine at least, so you got a decent grade. Some vending series, that's nice. A bunch of vending series. A decent set got graded, it seems. 9.5s, 9s. So does somebody. Looks like one whole set might have got collected. This is all vending series 1. Maybe. Not exactly sure. Of the different vending series, but still inside of the Japanese block here. And somebody definitely graded a really clean set. Don't know. S this is an old SGC slab. Old one. So I got a handful of cards being graded at SGC trying them out. First ever, first edition base set cards I'm seeing on a weekly auction. Pretty awesome. So you got a Raichu. So there's not going to be a bunch of first edition bases. People are being smart. I would say it's smart. Kind of seeing how it's going to go. These are going to be money cards. Um, and unfortunately, it seems we're only going to get one shot at an English one. An English first edition base set card. That's a holographic. Because um, likely the rest of the... It's going to kind of go in order, I'm guessing. So it's a little lackluster compared to what I've seen on the monthlies, but I uh, I definitely believe after this happens a few times, we have a few weeklies, people will start to see, okay, this is going to turn into some type of spectacle, I think, myself. Diglett, Pound Town. And uh, there's just tons of bangers. So I want to see kind of... I personally only collect vintage cards. So past Wizards of the Coast, past Sky Ridge, even Sky Ridge, um, and Aquapolis, I didn't get into too much personally as a collector. 
but after those sets i lose some interest i i think there's a lot of really cool cards i own a lot of cards after those sets they just look cool um to collect a lot of zapdos cards there is a lot of first edition base non-hollows in grades nines and a couple tens i've seen like these are solid grades so this will be really good to see how those uh how those prices turn out for sure that'll set some balance there because i just started buying some of those lots of trainers a couple duplicates here and there lots of first edition base though i'm still waiting for with the new setup um through pwcc if a card doesn't sell for over ten dollars they claim it as their own essentially so this one might be at risk uh, a PSA 1 Alakazam base set unlimited. This one might not sell. If it does, it will sell for 10 or $11. So just keep in mind they're eliminating a bunch of junk slabs by doing that. So you're not going to see as much modern, I'm thinking. This we'll find out as I scroll through here. But I really like how these are in order. I feel like that wasn't so much a thing in the monthly. Wow, they got literally almost every grade on there. Let's see how good we got a PSA 10 Zard. Let's see. I'm going to page 10 already. So we're on page 10 of 50. We're a fifth of the way through this. And I'm just flicking the button. So this 8, 8, 9. We got two nines. So this uh, there's some solid base unlimited cards. There's, there's like a PSA 1 set on here. I don't know who's going to. Sony might. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. If you, if you could buy a whole PSA 1 set for less than $400, that'd be pretty sick. Not gonna lie, and it looks like that is a thing. There's, it seems there's a whole PSA one set from Base Unlimited on here. There is every, there, every single one I've seen. This one almost looks blurry. The label looks a little blurry in the picture. It must have been it's a bad scan or something. But yeah, the way PWCC ends their auctions is they have their extended bidding period, which people have come to like, some have come to hate. Uh, personally, it's it is what it is, especially now. It'll be nicer having my eyes on less cards. Oh, some shadowless. Um, but having my eyes on less cards, I'll be able to track and do some later last-minute bidding if I want to on more items. Um, at least the more fine-tuned amount of items. Before, I was like, I didn't even get to look at every single card um, before the auction began. So. There's a lot of shadowless nine tails. Three of them. All right, low grades, two, three, four. But yeah, the extended beer bidding will start at say, just say it's 9 p.m. There's 30 minutes of extended bidding. If no bids get entered in then, then the auction ends after the 30 minute period. And you can only bid in the 30 minute period if you place the bid before the auction ended and entered the extended bidding so there's some really random shadowless cards those will probably sell pretty cheap um the low grade shadowless has been tanking there's a psa one zapdos things a bomb this thing's been creased 37 times looks like an old grandma if it was a card i've never seen so many wrinkles in my life zapdos psa 9 so there's base unlimited has some range on their grades PSA 10. See, that's why this, like, in the week, in the monthly, you would see some a lot, I feel like a lot more low-grade base unlimited cards. Um, so this is fine-tuned it significantly. These are all 10s. That's a shadowless one that is at that. So standing strong. This will probably be, obviously, the base unlimited, and then you'll get into some of the other sets, I believe, and... Uh, it might taper off a little bit as far as quantity because Base Unlimited is definitely holding the cake. There is tons of Base Unlimited, as rightfully so, because there is tons of it in the world compared to every other set, it seems. This one's, like, really bright. PSA 10. I like how that, oh, that's the uh, base. Oh, it's 1999 2000. All right, that's cool. Respect. That's why it's different. So Shadowless Pikachu, but all these are, like I said, solid grades. 10, 9, 9, 9. So 
very cool to see. I, I do like the changes where they're, uh, some of the pricing, it seems, with the added buyer's premium, there is a buyer's premium 20% tacked on to the bill. Um, so that will, with the new uh, way they're doing their pricing, it is going to weed out a bunch of junk slabs. So that will be nice as, from a buyer standpoint. For the sellers, might be a little sad if you had a bunch of cards there, but there's always eBay or you could just bite the bullet and send it. PSA 10, Blaine's Arcanine NT17. You got the Nintendo error. That's in a PSA 10. That's a nice card. Jordan Jungle, some low grade, moderate grade jungles, nothing amazing, couple nines. First editions though, at least you're seeing some first ed. There wasn't a lot of first ed base except for non hollows, only non hollows. Just the one Raichu, I think. Just the one Raichu. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. PSA 10, similar story. Lots of high grades. The hollows are. Nine, eight, seven, a couple maybe low ones. Seven, eight, nine, yep. Nine, eight, seven. So I wonder if they're going to try and not post up a lot of duplicates. Maybe that's another thing, a benefit of doing the weekly. Say they say they get a guy that says, hey, I got three middle queens that are all PSA 9. I guess it's up to the seller. If you have them in your vault already, you get to determine usually when you want them to post up into the auction. Um, so I guess it's up to the seller if they want to sell three PSA 9s of the same card at the same time or not. We're about almost halfway through this, um, and it's good to see so much vintage cards. Almost 50% is vintage, I'd say, at this point. We're still in jungle. We have a ways to go. We're up to slide 20, but, man, I'm really looking forward to these live streams. We're in base set 2. This is... Why is this out of place? I would I'd put this Cosmos Hollow with the other ones. Um, this guy should get a little more love than the other ones because it came out of the uh, two-player starter deck. Yeah, two-player CD-ROM. Base set two, no amazing grades. Seven, there's a nine at least. Cheap, though. These will probably sell cheap. Not like below market value, but these have been trending, I should say. Base set two has not been getting a lot of love. Um, you'll see reprinted Charizard selling for more than <laughs> base set two raw Charizards. It's actually insane. I really love the Cosmo Hollows on the base set two, though. They do a they do a really good job. I'm glad they got uh, that touch. One of the only Watsi Zapdos I need in a PSA ten is a base set two. Just haven't pulled the trigger. Don't know why. Haven't had one come up that I wanted. A lot more base set too, so we're gonna get into some gym challenge. These are tens at least. Respect. Yep, some gym challenge. That's a nine. Nice first edition nine Zapdos. Is that the only? Okay. I'm gonna say they they did put these out of order a little bit. Um, Zapdos is the highest graded hollow first edition. So that'll be cool to see my boy going up. Get into some Black Star promos. Not a whole lot of gym challenge in there. Oh, a corrected Zapdos in a PSA 5. That's a corrected one. I'd say like one out of every 20 of these I see has the corrected uh, illustrator on there. PSA 10, Neo Discovery Umbreon. That's going to be a nice card. Getting into some Neo. So for Alligator and a 9, this is an 8. Hmm. Yeah, kind of out of order here. So you, okay, so that's unlimited first edition. No big bangers for Neo. The PSA 9 first edition for Alligator is the most expensive one, probably. Another Ancient Mew. This one's not the Nintendo error. I guess they just wanted to mix them up. And now, I don't know what order we're in. This is, is there only one Gym Heroes card? Because here it is. Poor Psyduck just chilling on, a, on an island by himself, just hanging out. Team Rocket is not deep in first edition hollows. You got four of them. Three of them. This is a non hollow. Um, so, not a whole lot of depth there. Uh, 
Maybe maybe I lied. Maybe I was. Oh no, it's unlimited. So getting into unlimited. No big big bangers. So people are definitely as expected a little hesitant with uh, posting up into the first weekly auction, which I would be the exact same personally as a seller. I'm more of the wait and see kind of guy, um, but fully respect there is opportunity to be the first. This will have a lot of eyes on it. They're not wrong thinking that if they're thinking it. I think this being the first weekly will have probably the most more eyes on it than the second week or the third week. Um, people will want to see kind of what's going on, what's new, what's fresh. A couple birthday Pikachu, some more Black Star promos. We're more than halfway through this. And we're at how much time? 20 minutes. Is that 20 minutes? 20 minutes. So I'm basically just going to stop after Watsy, And it looks like we might be coming to an end here on Watsy. Just wanted to get a snapshot. But there's definitely a bunch of high-grade non-hollow cards. Tons of high-grade non-hollows. 10, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9. Um, for each set, it seems. Each set seems to have some really high non hollow graded cards. Obviously, those are going to be a lot more higher populations. But I love that I'm not seeing, like, this Zubat in a PSA 5. Like, bro, like, why? <laughs> like, just stop grading those cards for one. But dang. PSA 9 Mew is really nice. See how Tokopi's an expensive one. No nine even. Southern Islands, man. This thing holds its own year after year. It's pretty crazy. Slow King goes up to a nine. Looks like they just had a couple sets get submitted. I've, I've never seen... It, I don't even, uh, Maybe in the monthly it existed. I just never searched for it because I never could find it, but... I don't know if I've ever seen these get auctioned. And now this this time, I will be able to see these get auctioned. And if you're a Pichu person, this will pop one of three. This thing looks sick. And it's got like a, you could think of it like a lightning bolt on it. It's pretty cool. I'm sure they did that for that reason. It's a lot of, a lot of cut cards. Die cuts. Now we're talking PSA 10, the first Charizard. Non hollow? I don't even think it's a reverse. This is a reverse. This is a reverse. Some expedition. Non hollow. Handful of non hollows, but again, we're at some good grades. 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10. Like you're not you're not getting some BS here. Mew two and Mew and a nine. Ten Venusaur. Respect it. Respect it. I'm really looking forward to this. The 10 Dragonair. It's a beautiful card. These are new cert. That's a new five. That's a five. Still pretty new cert. So people probably graded these, dropped them right off at P PWCC. 10, 10, 10, 10. Like this Bulbazar art is in a league of its own. This dude is just chilling. I cannot. Uh, 3,600 cards, man. It's crazy. I literally cannot wait. McDonald's promo, PSA 10 Umbreon. That's going to pull some heat. I mean, some legendary collection. PSA 9. A handful of reverses. Surprised there's that many. All 9s. Very nice. Neo Destiny first dead. Only two first dead. Couple of limiteds. 9 and a 5. It's random. Like, there's all, nine, all these 9s and 10s and a couple 8s and then 5. There's a 5. And then that PSA 1 base unlimited set, which is pretty wild. Now we're getting to some of the EX era. Kyogre, respect. Just take a couple glances. A lot of EX cards. Dang, I'm surprised this, there's this many. But, again, similar story. 8 Dragonite. 9, 8, 8. People are holding those 10s, man. They're hodling. They're hodling. Hitmon Chain. That's a lot of EX cards. Some more die cuts, tops. I just want to do a quick thing now. I just want a quick look and see how many Yu-Gi-Oh cards made it into this auction. 
So we had 1,200 Pokemon. We're only looking at 68 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So this is like a two-pager. That's crazy low. I really hope to see this one grow. Um, PSA 10 LOB, first ed, pretty nice. Literally, it's a three-page story here. Not a whole lot going on. People are... Yu-Gi-Oh! prices have come down similar to Pokemon. Same... That'll be one of the most expensive cards that sell in this auction. PSA 10, first edition Magic Ruler. Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon. Ferris Urban Jinzo, PSA 10. Alrighty then. There's a few bangers in here, that's for sure. But uh, I understand hesitation. Like everything, it's a lot of speculation. Playing the right times. Phoenix. Dude is a legend. This card slapped cheeks when he came out. Shown it. They got an SJCS card in here. Balls. PSA 9. It's not the most expensive one. But it. That could be, a, could be a couple grand there. Wow. Yeah, so Yu-Gi-Oh, not a whole lot of story. So it's 12, so one-third Pokemon. Yeah, 16th Yu-Gi-Oh, and the rest is... I can't I don't even think you can search by sport. I lied. You can. 92 hockey. Basketball will be huge. Yeah, basketball... Football. Yeah. Pokemon, it seems, takes the cake for quantity. For sure. Quality? Probably. <laughs> but that is uh, that is my preview for the first ever PWCC Weekly Auction. Again, I'll be posting updates on my Instagram link down below in the description. So check it out of when the live's going to be. It will be when this auction ends. Um, again, it probably it won't take me a, more than an hour, hour and a half live stream with the way they do it with the extended bidding. But highly recommend you get your bids in early if you want to be participating in the extended bidding. Um, I learned my lesson the hard way the first time I went through it. Um, didn't get early bids in. I thought I was going to be the guy like eBay sniping. Um, didn't do that. Failed miserably. Was only able to bid on two or three items. And uh, the rest is history. Then I learned and got all of my max bids in early on all the cards and got a bunch of steals. So that's the way to do it. Highly recommend it. Can't wait for this to kick off. Let me know down below if you're going to be participating. I hope to see a bunch of you there. Um, Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>